scroll through the Mass GOP's Facebook page and you'll see Florida Governor Ron DeSantis praised for saying systemic racism doesn't exist. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem cheered for limiting transgender kids' access to sports. And Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker panned for purportedly overreaching on COVID. Social media isn't real life, but it reflects and shapes it. And Republican State Committee woman Amy Carnevale says antipathy toward Baker is substantial. A good-sized segment of the active Republican base would want to see a change. This dynamic isn't new. Back in 2018, 36% of Republican primary voters backed Scott Lively, an extreme anti-gay pastor, in what was widely seen as a protest vote. But lately, Baker has stoked frustration on the right with his COVID response and criticism of Donald Trump. His remarks during and after the travesty of the attack on the Capitol were disgraceful. Carnevale is both a Trump backer and a Baker supporter. She says Baker's critics seem to forget they live in Massachusetts. To get elected as a Republican in a blue state, you really have to appeal uh, to those unenrolled voters, those independents, and even some Democrats. If that's the goal, Mass Inc. polling group president Steve Cazella says Baker's credentials are impeccable. Among Democrats, Charlie Baker's often been in the high 70s or even in the 80s. But in today's GOP, that may not be a badge of honor. A potential primary challenge already looms from Jeff Deal, the former state rep and U.S. Senate candidate. He's crisscrossing Massachusetts for a YouTube series titled Bay State with a Bronco, which feels a lot like the soft launch of a campaign. Massachusetts is a great state. In one episode, Deal chats with Mass GOP Chair Jim Lyons, who praises Deal's 2014 fight to stop automatic gas tax hikes. You drove that message all across the state, and that's the kind of grassroots effort we have to build on. In a contest with Deal, Baker would be favored. Mass Inc.'s latest poll still puts Baker's Republican approval at 62 percent. A bigger risk might be new rules for next year's GOP convention. Right now, support from 15 percent of delegates gets candidates on the ballot. But if the state party boosts that, say, to 40 percent, Baker might not make the cut. It's that hypothetical that gets former Mass GOP Chair Jennifer Nasur nervous. Before they vote anything in that will shatter um, the party, but also, again, democracy in Massachusetts, I hope that they actually think about what they're doing. She is also a Baker backer with a dim view of Deal's prospects. If you cannot win for state Senate and you cannot win statewide office running for U.S. Senate, then the chance that you can actually win in a general election for governor is pretty slim to none. Lyons, the current Mass GOP chair, declined comment after noting there are no declared candidates and the party bylaws prohibit his involvement in primaries. If you read the tea leaves, though, his preferences may already be clear. Adam Riley, GBH News.